After the Think Smart View goes through its boot up process, you are brought to this menu where you can pick language. I'm going with English and United States. That's the right one for me. Now I can pick my Wi-Fi network. So I'll pick that and push, uh, put in the password for my Wi-Fi network. With my password entered, it will now connect to my Wi-Fi network. There we go, nicely connected. Now it'll ask me to pair a Bluetooth device. So I have a Logitech Zone wireless headset. So I'm gonna pick that and have it pair. This will let me use a headset with the Think Smart View. By default, the View only works as a speakerphone. So pairing a headset, a Bluetooth headset, lets me now have private calls and people don't hear everything that's going on in, the, in, in, in my calls. Let's hit next. And now uh, it's gonna dance around a little and ask me to sign into Teams. So let's go ahead and sign into Teams. I am going to sign in using the um, sign in from another device option. So I'm gonna click sign in from another device and then bring up a web browser, which is over here at microsoft.com slash device login. And then I enter the code that was displayed on the Think Smart View. And then I'll log in as the user that is going to use this device. Yes, I'm trying to sign in to the company portal. And we've signed in. So let's flip over to the Think Smart View and see what's going on there. So it looks like the Think Smart View got the information it needed from Azure AD for my user account. And now it's registering with Intune and seeing if there are any conditional access or compliance policies that need to apply. So we'll let this do its thing for a, a, the, about a minute here. Okay, looks like I got signed in. So now I can click got it. That'll let me uh, have meetings and calls. And here we see what should be a familiar IP phone interface. This is the same interface you get on Teams phones. So I can you know, click on people and see any contacts that I have. I can see any calendar events that I have. This is a test account, so there really isn't a lot going on. Um, and I can make phone calls. Now this is great, uh, fully functional IP phone. But you're not really buying a Teams display, so you can make phone calls. You really want to have that more advanced Teams integration. So how do we get this thing changed over from Teams phone mode to Teams display mode? In order to change the mode from Teams phone to Teams display, we need to go to Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Here I am signed in to Teams Admin Center, so we'll go down to Devices and Teams Displays, Wait for this to refresh, and no data is available. So now what do we do? Well, remember, this is a Teams phone right now, so let's pop over to IP phones, and we can see here is my Lenovo device. So because it's running in a Teams phone firmware, it will show up in Teams phones. So in order to change this from Teams phones to Teams display mode, I'll highlight my Think Smart View and click the upgrade button. So now I click upgrade, it gives me a little message, this phone becomes a Teams display device and won't be able to be downgraded to a phone device. Now, this is not a problem at all because all Teams displays are basically Teams phones, but with additional Teams functionality. So. So you're going to have all the calling features of a Teams phone, but additional productivity features. Now I could click upgrade now to force that to happen in, uh, fairly immediately, or I can schedule this so I get the chance to pick whatever time zone I need this to be in. So I'm in Florida, which is Eastern time. And then let's say I want this to happen Friday night at 1130 PM. I could click schedule. Now I do want this to happen pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and click upgrade now and it's sending the command off to the back end that we do want to upgrade this device. And so now if we click drill into here and then look at history, 
we'll see that there's a software update queued. Now this takes a few minutes, and so I'm going to uh, pause the recording and come back once the device has finished with this software update. After the Teams Display firmware is copied to the phone, you're prompted with a request to reboot. So you can do it later, so you can push it off, or you can do it immediately. In my case, let's do it immediately. No reason to wait for this update to happen. I'll let this update go and be back. Now that the Teams Display has rebooted into Teams Display mode, we can see we have a much more exciting user interface. And let's just verify a thing or two. I am signed in and I am connected. Let me go to settings and then device settings and we can make sure that our settings carried with us as we would expect. So I am connected to the same Wi-Fi network and you can see those zone wireless headset is connected. So I'm ready to go in Teams display mode and that is how you update a Teams display from Teams phone mode to Teams display mode.